Hey guys, I usually am covering stocks that have earnings, but I want to go through intraday where you can actually use uh, sweepcast.com to be able to use it for intraday moves. So match.com, I'm just going to go through this example. It was trading around $97 and it made its way up all the way to 102, had a, about an 8% move. And if I go to Sweepcast for yesterday, for Friday, uh, the 18th of March, uh, we can see there's activity here. And I am I really only looked at the sweeps. Uh, I filtered the bullish and bearish. I mean, there wasn't a lot of bearish activity here, uh, but I'm looking at bullish. You can see that there's not a lot. So I'm just going to filter this for, for ease of example. But you guys can see here there were sweeps coming in early morning. And if I just uh, do the time and just sort the time, you guys can see there's uh, sweeps coming in calls. It was trading at $97. And the sentiment is really what you want to look at because these puts are coming in, but they're being sold off. That's why it's bullish still. And you guys can see it ended up at 102 at the end of the day. So uh, you can use Sweepcast to be able to uh, get some information like this. And this new feature will come up. It tells you if it's been repeated twice or not. And these repeats are really aggressive orders because that means the same buyer is coming in. Uh, for the same strike prices, either that's 105 or the 95 or the 110 or the 105 again, right? So it's the same buyers coming in. They came in at the 97 and 97 again here early morning. So they just continue to buy in and the expiration dates are the same. Uh, that's what makes it a lot easier to use Sweepcast because it has all these icons and visuals that make it a little bit easier to dissect what's exactly going on on the stock and you can get intraday moves like this and there was a few other ones uh, that I'll try to make videos for here shortly.